Uh, if you don't know me, my name's Josh. I'm the development officer in Kalgoorlie and I'm helping Juan and Sartak out with uh, the live sessions. Hopefully we'll all be able to go out on the field uh, as soon as it's safe to do so. But in the meantime, absolutely awesome being able to have uh, all of the players from the training center and some of the players from the TSP as well on here. And uh, obviously we're recording this, so uh, it'll still be there. Everyone will be able to watch this later. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to get started with a little bit of running to warm up. So if we can all get ready, check it out. Alright, so just leave the balls to the side for just a second. What we're going to do, we're just going to run up to the front here. Stop and then come back. We're all the way to the back. Running forward and back. Keep it going. All right, so just while you're there, just on your toes, just open up, other side. Close, close, open, open, close, close. All right, so we're gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go sort of side to side in a zigzag. We're just getting all the muscles nice and warm. Are you ready? Go. And then we come forward, same way. And going back. And forward. And one more. And now while we're here, just little kicks. And a bit bigger, a little swing. So we're gonna get it nice and ready before we start touching the balls. One's here, how are you going one? All right, just with the ball now, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run that way and then back. We're gonna use the outside of our right foot and the outside of our left foot. Nice and easy touches. Turn around and back the other way. And back the other way. Pick up the pace just a little bit. Alright, stop there. Now we're going to do some leg swings. So, come out, in, and again. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. I'm sure everyone's doing this well. Alright, this time we're going backwards, doing some toe taps backwards. If you can't do the toe taps backwards, then try to do the toe taps forward. So, if you're doing toe taps forward, Looks like this. If you can do them backwards, looks like this. Stop. Keep going. Now forwards this way. Try to keep your head up as well. If you can do it with your head up, that's really good. It means that out on a pitch, you can see everything around you. So we're going again, go. Keep that head going side to side. Whoops.
And one more on that. Three, two, one, go. Look inside to side if you can. Good stuff, all right. This one, we're just gonna pick it up a little bit. We're gonna do rolling. So we do it right foot halfway there, and then we're gonna do it left foot the other half of the way there. So you can see where I've got the cones out there, pretty much halfway. So, a ready to roll. Make sure when you roll, you get that turn. It's almost like, if you know the Maradona turn, It'll almost be like that footwork. It'll be, it'll be rolling and then coming around like that. All right, we ready? Three, two, one, go. And again. And this time we'll start out with our left. Three, two, one, go. And one more time with our right. Try to, this time, like I did on the way down there, as we're doing our change, try to go through the ball and around. So step over the ball. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. And one more. Get that step over. All right, good stuff. What we're going to do there, just take a little break. I'm just going to break for about one minute. And then we're going to get into a bit of juggling. We're going to be working on our touch. How's everybody going? Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Juan. Hi, Neil. Keep going with the water. In between every session, we need a bit of a rest. Just while you're drinking, you can do a few dynamic stretches, open the gates up. I've got an issue with my adductor here, which is that bit inside the hip flexor. So I do some kicks like this, just to open it up. If you've got any things that you know are sort of aches and pains that bother you, work on them. Make sure that you're ready for the next part. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of juggling. Just make sure my whole body's on the screen there. Yeah, we're all good. So we're gonna do a little bit of juggling. So obviously if you're a bit older, particularly if you're in the talent support program, then you're probably very familiar with this. So it's about trying to challenge yourself to do as much as you can. If you're younger, I'm gonna help you out a bit. If you're in the training center, you're maybe seven or eight or nine. If you've got the ball in your hands like this, First goal is just to try and get one up like that. Just like that. So a mistake that I think a lot of young children make, and it's partly just because often they're very, very small, but they often kick the ball up very high like that. We will do that for the older kids in a bit. But if you're learning to do keepy ups and you're learning to juggle, it's much better to keep it low. I'd like to see you keep it underneath your knee. Even when you're doing the one up, you just do that and it's like that. Because when you're juggling, what you're doing is you're working on your touch. And if you've got a higher ball that comes into the game, you want to take it down like that. 
you don't want it bobbling back up. So if you're younger, just in the hands, we're gonna see how many you can do in, we'll start off with one minute. So you ready? Three, two, one, go. Try both feet, right and left. If I'm older, starting to do some of this, I can keep it as low as I want, nice and low, nice and low. Flick it back up, maybe try different body parts. Like my thighs, chest. All right, that's a minute there, stop. How do we go? How, how many did we get? How many you got? 20? 25, 30? One, how many did you get? 45, whoa. That's good stuff, Kai. All right, so, what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna see if we can do it a bit of a different way. It's gonna be a bit hard for me, just cause I've got uneven surface here. But, oh, well done, one. Rather than keeping the ball up the whole time. Oh, well done, 42, fantastic. Rather than keeping it up the whole time, what we're going to be doing is letting it bounce first. So if you're younger, obviously you can let it bounce up a bit more. See if that's a bit easier for you. Again, try to use both your right and your left foot. If you've only got one of them, try to use both. If you're older, try to get it on the half volley. So again, maybe tough on this surface, but try to do it on the half volley. It's a bit of a different skill. Try to see if you can get that ball really spinning back. Spinning back towards you. All right, are we ready? Go for one minute. Three, two, one, go. Start again there. 30 seconds. Ooh, sorry, keep up the pace. Might you let it jump a little bit more. Try to get that really on the half volley. All right, three, two, one, stop. I reckon I got about 25. How'd you guys go there? Do a quick drink. How'd you go, one? All right, not seeing too many messages, but that's fine. I had a little rest and move on. So, I've brought up the chair before. Oh, well done. Good stuff, Kai. Well done, one. So I brought up the chair before. So if we can imagine, if this is during a game, there'll be lots of times where you might control the ball it sits up and then you try to knock it over another player. It's a bit of a tough skill, but the aim is to get it up, stop it on the other side, and then come back through the chair's legs, just like you're doing a nutmeg. You can do that any way you want. I can come through the legs like that. 
through there. I can stall and then put it through just as long as I get the ball at the other side. So if you're younger and you don't know if you can get it over, you can just try going through the chair, through the legs. You get there, you can come this way, that way, pull back, come through, pull back, come through, like that. So if you're older, the aim is going to be get the ball over, so get the ball over, control, come back through, and that's one. Once you've come back through, that's one. So I want to see how many you can do in two minutes. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. That's one for me. Control it at the other side. Two. Try on your left. Whoa, not quite. Come back around. Good stuff, better. How y'all doing? That's 35 seconds there, well done. Make sure you're trying to control it on the full. Might go around the other side now. Five. Five seconds to go. You can try coming over the chair this way as well. You got the ball here. Through like that. Just got to control it at the other side. Alright, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, well done. Have a rest there. How'd you go? I wish my control was a bit better, but I reckon we have some pretty good efforts back at home. So hopefully your parents uh recording you or or you'll be able to do this later and send it through to us how we all go out there can let me know while I just set up the next bit Twenty just. Well done, Kai. Well done, one. Some bits of that were pretty hard. I'm lucky I have lots of balls. I don't have to go chasing too far. All right. So. Oh, well done, Taj. Good stuff. All right. So, what I'm going to show you here is something that I do a lot. I actually do a lot with goalkeepers. But I'm going to add a little bit of defending in here. I know it seems strange. We're doing an at-home session. We're doing defending. Uh, we're doing stuff without the ball. But I promise you, it'll be fun. And it'll be very useful. Because what I'm going to show you is something that often only goalkeepers learn. And it's about moving laterally. The quickest way to move laterally. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to start here. We're going to be in. Normally, if you're a goalkeeper, you set positions like this. But I'm going to show you a defensive set position. So if there's a right-footed player in front of me, I'm facing him this way. So he's coming at me that way. I can cross my leg over there or turn that way if he goes that way or she goes that way. So what we're going to do is this cone in front of me is one. So the cone in front of you is one. So if you guys have the diamond set up in your backyard, this cone in front of you is one. This cone here is two. This cone here is three. This cone here is four. So we're going to go through it. We're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to go through it five times and we'll see how quickly everyone can do it. So we're ready. We're in set position. And each time we get to this cone, I want you to get into the set position. So we're ready. Three, two, one, go. To the left footer. That's four. All right, stop there. So that took me 19 seconds. How did you guys go there? Because we're going to speed it up a little bit. So, what I'm going to show you is a method for going backwards and laterally that would be quicker probably than what you were doing before. So, often people go sideways or backwards and they go backwards like this or they go sideways like this with little steps. What you can do, and this is big for goalkeepers but it works for outfield players too, is when you're going sideways, remember if I'm facing that way it means the ball's outside of me, cross your leg behind. What that does is what took me two steps before is now only one step. I don't have much space here but I could probably do a full four meters almost with that one step compared to three or four little steps. So I'm going to show you, we'll see if you can try that. It might be a bit foreign to you. We'll see how quick we can do it. So we're going to set position. I'll see how quick I can do five. Are we ready? Go. And stop there. I had that in 16. So got two seconds quicker. How'd you go? So I reckon I got 16. How'd you go for five? Maybe you're counting in your head if you don't have a stopwatch. Go one more time. This time, we're gonna change it up a bit. We're gonna go the other direction. So, 14 seconds, wow, well done Kai. So, we're coming out this way. Starting set position. Got a left footer coming at us. Three, two, one, go. Alright, good stuff Taj, well done one. how's it going over in Bustleton? It's starting to get dark here but we don't have rain yet. Hey Sandra, how you doing? Alright, so this time when you get your ball, so we're going to be going out to each cone. So now our attackers. So let's say we've got a defender on us who's moving pretty well and doing a good job. Now as attackers, what we're gonna do 
is we're going to try get to all of these cones. We're going to try do two circuits because I think it'll be harder with the balls. But I really want you to focus on using fakes. So fakes can be really simple. A fake could just be stopping the ball, coming back that way. Or you can pretend to go, come through, throw it there. Or if you do, I don't know, Juan did this in his first session, I encourage you to do some step overs. You do a step over, but with your step over, make sure it's violent and explosive. So if you're gonna step over a defender and you know you're going that way, your whole body basically needs to be going in the direction you're not gonna go. So if I'm going that way, I might wanna go my whole body out that way and then come through. All right, so, are ready? So we gotta to get to each of the four cones. Don't care how you do it, we're gonna do it twice. Three, two, one, go. Alright, stop there. Take a 10 second breather. Because I'm pretty sure we'll do it again. Lots of fakes and turns. If you can stop before the cone even, that's good, rather than going all the way around it. Save yourself some time. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! And stop there. Well done. I had that in just over 10. How'd we go? Heavy rain down there, down south. That's all right. Once the rain's gone, everyone can watch this again. We just take a little drink there. We're gonna start the next part of the session. Yeah, it's a little bit dark over here, so we'll see how much, how much time we get in. All right, so. Ooh, sorry about that. You can see. This, oh, I'll just bring it in. All right, so. Doing a little bit of defending again. So if you can see, there's some white cones on that side, some red cones on this side. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be running at you with the ball. And I'm gonna go either this way or that way. And you need to go back and defend, running backwards, whichever channel you think I'm going down. So I might fake, might go this way or that way. It'll depend. Once I've come through, get your ball and have a shot at the goals. So as soon as I've come through, you come backwards, then get the ball and take a good shot. All right, so I'm gonna be running in five seconds. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Make sure you're having a shot. All right, get that ball back. Hopefully we understand how it works. Three, two, one, go. Give that ball, have a shot. Good stuff. All right, we got the ball back. You ready? Three, two, one. Good goal over there.
if I can get a little bit of light out. All right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. All right, one more. All right, who picked that way? How we go? How many times did we get it, guys? Alright, so we just got a little bit of failing light out here. It's kind of like a cricket match. But what I want us to do is wherever your goals are, just get a line of cones in front of the goals. So I don't know if you can see, but got some cones there. Over to this side, I've got some cones for my goal up that way. What I want us to do is just run up to the cones like I was before, give us a little bit of a fake and shoot. If you've got multiple balls, that's good because you can go get a new one. All right, so what we're gonna do, give you three minutes, bad light here, but three minutes, continuous work. And we're gonna try put in a fake, shoot a goal. Try with both your right foot, your left foot, Try with your laces on your right foot, your laces on your left foot, outside of the foot. Uh, I know one, I know one likes a bit of a Rabona. So we'll see how many Rabonas one scores. All right, are we ready? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna turn at whichever goal I want to. I'm gonna shoot three minutes starting from now. One minute. Ninety seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty. Nine, 
All right. Yeah, you can see me now. I've got my other light for the cool down. Just gonna come somewhere else. I think I have a bit more light over here. All right. Well done. Sorry about the light there, but hopefully you do all right. Three minutes was a bit of tough work for everyone. So I have a few minutes to go, so I'm gonna do a warm down now. But if you wanna go through that again, do even better, improve your score. Uh, can you let us know how you did in the comment section? How many goals you scored? Nineteen, wow. You have, you have a very... No, you're a very good football player. That's the right one. I'll say that. All right, so just had a bit of a breather. Again, you can go through again. If not, you can always come back and watch this later. So we'll just go through down to a really easy cool down. We're just gonna stretch our back like this. Just hang there, it doesn't need to hurt. Just over here. And a bit of a crouch and pop up. Just like an easy squat. Well done, Kai, 24, brilliant. Kai's our star left back from the TSP in Kalgoorlie. He won't like me saying that though. He wants to be a winger. All right, I've got a chair here. So I'm gonna just use the chair, just to do a few swings. If you take your chair from before, or you can do it standing up as well. It's just a little bit tougher. Stay stable, the chair just helps out. And the other one. Just a few leg swings this way. And this way. As I said before, my adductor gets strained a bit when I do exercise. So I just open it up like this to help out. Something that can work for you as well. And make sure the left side does a bit of work as well. Just turn your hip on the standing leg this way. And just a little bit with the quads, just like this. And that's all good. All right. Thank you very much. Sorry about the light here. If we do another one in Kalgoorlie, I think we'll um, start it a little bit earlier. I think they get a bit more, either one's got a very bright backyard or they get a bit more sunlight on the coast and in the middle of winter. Oh, terrific stuff. Well done, Alyssa. But did Ethan get 30? Well done. All right. So we're going to end it there. Thank you so much for joining in with the session. Sorry if I kicked the balls around the place or if I was hard to follow and sorry about the light again, but really glad to have you all here and hopefully we'll be able to get back out on the pitch pretty soon. Cheers.